I'm going to show you how I set up my Arc Server Manager to set up a 5-map cluster for PvE Tribe Wars and a 2-map cluster for PvP. I also have two more maps an event on the center map, an event on the island map. In the Arc Server Manager, you can click this link and that'll take you off to Survive the Arc where you can see the latest changes from Wildcard. Here under Administration, we have the different server ports, query ports, and recon ports. I keep a document with my ports so that I make sure that I don't have two of the same ports. Over here in the mod IDs, you can see that there are six mods for the PvP server. And over in the PvE servers, we have 19 mods. I use a lot of the castles and keeps and eco mods. You set up your message of the day, your anti-cheat system. Okay, for your clusters, we have the Blam cluster, which like the island, the center, aberration, scorched earth are all on the Blam cluster. And then on the PvP Ragnarok, we have the Blam Cluster PvP and the Blam Cluster PvP for the center. We have the Launcher Args, the Affinity, and this lets you set up under Task Manager Details. If we go to the shooter game and you were to look at the Set Affinity, you'd see that each map uses two nodes. The server has 12 cores and 24 threads. And so you'll see that we have 0 through 11 and 0 through 11 again. And so it has 24 threads here. It has two processors. And so each map uses the two CPUs, the two nodes. Once you set this up here in the launcher args, like this one, Affinity, here, you can see that each map has its own Affinity set. Now what we do is we take those 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 nodes and you start from the beginning and it's like you're saying I want to switch these two on for the, the first uh, setting. Switch these two on, two, two, and so on all the way down. And what happens is that if you were to set up and use all of them, you could potentially have 11 maps. I like to leave one open, and so you could use all 11 for your different maps. For automatic management, I have it set so that it auto starts the server on boot, shuts down the server at 5 a.m., performs an update and restarts. It's in the auto backup cycle, auto update cycle. Over here in the settings, you can set up where you want to install your data directory, what you want to do as far as your updates, your messages. You can even set up email settings to send yourself notices of when you do auto updates, shutdowns, and different things. Now for my rules for my PvP server, I have the enabled PvP, whereas for the PvE server, I don't have it enabled, and so the settings are a bit different. This one for PvE, I allow tribe warfare. And my tribe sizes and alliances are the same. These settings are ignored for PvP. I use per level stat multipliers. At the time I was setting this up, the base stat multipliers were bugged so that every time somebody died, it kept incrementing more and more and more every time they died until they were really crazily multiplied. The dino settings are the same. These settings are different from my PvP server to my PvE server. I have my breeding and my taming buffed. I do have Enable Structure Decay on the PvP maps. Now for server file details, you can put in the administrator's IDs. You can whitelist people. If you turn on custom level progressions, it will allow you to set up how many Ingram points are learned at each level. Now this command, Unlock All Ingrams, it's really 
laggy on the server so instead that's where I use the custom level progressions and you just turn that on and then you can set up the Ingram points so that everyone can use all of the Ingrams instead of just having to learn only part of them and you want to also allow for the Ingrams the other mods you install require as well so I went through and counted all of my Ingrams based on my mods and then make sure that I give plenty. If we go back to look at the Ingrams, for instance, having the Galleon rafts could lag the server on the rafts plus, so I have that Ingram so that it's not learnable and the way you do that is you set it as hidden, you set your cost really high, your level really high, and it'll never show up for them in their Ingrams. Even if you say hidden, but you set it at level one, cost one, it will still show up in their Ingrams. I have the Teleporter Plus, the Personal Teleporter, and Awesome Teleporter disabled as well so that me as an admin, I'm the only one who can spawn the teleporters. And I do give these out as prizes at my events. The Auction House can also lag a server if you have them all over the place and let you let your players have them all over the place. So I have the, the auction house is also disabled. I can spawn them and I have an auction house on each of my maps. If you want to see server updates in your Discord for your players to see when the servers are down so they'll stop notifying you that, oh, something's wrong with your server, the server's down. So they can see here, oh, it's rebooting because of a mod update or, you know, it's a scheduled boot and when it gets back up again. And so to do that, you go over here to the plugins. You would install your Discord plugin from the Arc Server Manager and you can go to their website and get details on how to do these things. Then you just set up a, a Discord plugin and you do have to install Discord on the server 